This episode is dedicated to Kobe and his impact on the world. The legacy he left behind is evident worldwide across the globe. Like many of us, I grew up watching Kobe, whether he was eight and or 24. From the Afro to the bald fade, I've watched his career blossom as a Laker. When I first heard the news, I froze up. I was in denial just like everybody else. I didn't want to believe it. Social media has a way of spreading false news at times. Even when it was confirmed, I was still in denial. There are many moments that will last forever to me that will always deserve credit. His 81-point game, his 60-point game on his exit, playing on injury, playing with the flu. Man, if I stub my toe, I'm done for the day. So I respect when he would still put up numbers when he wasn't at his best physically. The Mamba mentality is a way of life, and it could be applied to anything. I think one of the key branches of that mentality is performing under pressure when the stakes are high. And we've seen Kobe do that on many instances. I've had many moments in my life where high pressure was at 100, and I sealed the deal. The feeling after that is a high that can make you lose sleep that night. One thing I love about Kobe was the Kobe scowl. It was wallpaper worthy. You know, when he did that scowl, you were in trouble. You know that he was about to hit a game winner. Now I do the scowl all the time just to pay homage. When I get a new gig, when I rap a whole verse on point in the car, when I give a speech for no ums, when I win an argument with facts, to me, that Kobe scowl will forever be legendary. One thing I took from this, one thing I took from Kobe's life is that what you do with that dash from after you're born within your purpose is important. Kobe's life will forever be celebrated, whether it's at the Staples Center, in your individual households, on the basketball court, getting tattoos, magazines, whatever. At some point, they might as well just do a section in a museum with all his accolades somewhere in L.A., the impact that he has left has hit so many areas of our life. Even being a father, girl dad was trending. Thank you, Kobe, for giving us what you did from the moment you came on the scene. Your legacy will continue to live on. It's real serious. Have a good time. Enjoy life. It's, um, life is too short to, to, to get bogged down, to be discouraged or... Um, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile, and just keep on rolling. You know, and uh, that's, that's what really is, this camp is about.